Hi Aries, Happy New Year! This is your December 27th through January 2nd weekly tarot reading. I'll do four spreads this week. Uh, we'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship. I'll do an X spread and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have the Tower, clarified by the King of Swords. We have the Empress. We have the Nine of Cups, clarified by Strength. We have the Knight of Cups, clarified by the Page of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. And we have the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. You could be dealing with a Leo or a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. Most likely you are dealing with King of Swords. And uh, we also have the Knight of Swords right there. So it, it's a very strong indication of an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Or this person is very determined to start a relationship with you, to get you uh, into a relationship. And uh, this whole spread is about them um, trying really, really hard. It's like they're going to be coming towards you in waves, one way after another. They'll be sending you text messages, emails, sending you flowers, uh, asking you out, um, commenting on your social media, they will be all over the place. <laughs> right, so the tower, the first card that came out, this is a card of something that happens unexpectedly. Um, the king of swords is that unexpected person showing up in your life. Then we have the empress, the empress is the way they see you Aries, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. The Empress is uh, somebody who does not require an introduction. Everybody knows who the Empress is. Somebody who is uh, uh, sure of themselves in a positive way. But at the same time, this person is very loving and very giving, nurturing. right? And uh, the Empress is uh, the mother of the tarot deck. So perhaps this person sees you as their future significant other. And uh, if uh, having children is still an option for you. so. That's the way they see you. They see having children with you in the future. The Empress is also abundance in its purest form, and it could be a, a very abundant relationship as well. Then we have the Nine of Cups, clarified by Strength. Uh, strength is either Leo you're dealing with, but most likely, together with the Nine of Cups, this is raw, pure passion, especially if uh, you'll be meeting at a place where there will be. Um, adult beverage consumption if uh, yeah let's just put it that way <laughs> the knight of cups could also represent uh, a wish come true for either you them or hopefully about both of you right and uh, then we have the knight of cups clarified by the page of ones and uh, the seven of cups the knight of cups could be a water sign cancer scorpio or pisces but uh, like i said this person is coming towards you in waves so uh, one wave will be the Knight of Cups, which is all about emotions, deep emotions, love, uh, them being uh, very soft towards you, um, you know, sending you very touching emails or text messages, them taking care of you, right? But at the same time, we also have the Page of uh, Wands right there. The Page of Wands is all about passion, um, lust, flirt, being very silly and things like that. <laughs> so yeah, this person is coming in in waves, they'll be uh, trying to, th they'll basic, basically throw everything they've got at you, trying to get uh, the full and undivided attention from you. And that is also them in the Seven of Pentacles, they're basically waiting for you to make a decision or they're waiting for you to start paying attention at them or perhaps they've... Uh, they're waiting for something else, uh, for this relationship to actually become serious, to this, for this relationship to uh, become exclusive, right? Uh, so they're going to put in all this work with you, so to speak, and uh, they will be waiting for the results. And uh, I don't really see any rejection from your side. It's just that this person is, uh, they think you're the one for them with the Empress card, right? So that's why they're all over the place. They're trying so hard here. I do see a lot of effort coming from this person. And then uh, they are really struck by uh, Cupid. <laughs> so um, yeah, 
it's going to be in. Perhaps they think that uh, they want to leave uh, 2020 behind and start this new 2021 year with somebody and they think that this is just uh, a lucky coincidence if they believe in coincidences that uh, they're meeting you right there in the beginning of this new year or right at the end of this other year right so yeah looks really really promising um, and uh, I think it'll be up to you what you want to do here because the Empress is uh, that is you you're sitting on your throne and uh, you're gonna be uh, ruling the world perhaps you are ruling the world right now and uh, you are trying to decide if this is your Emperor Aries, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in the description below. In the extended, I'll do two or three more spreads, depending on how the situation unfolds. We'll take a look at what to expect between you and this person, and uh, we'll get you an advice. I do extensions for new love only, because that's what people are interested in the most. Aries, if you are already married or if you are in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Seven of Cups, we have the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Wands clarified by the Two of Cups, and we have the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Um, the phrase I heard in my head when I saw this spread is, um, it's not that simple. And that's exactly what I see here. Something is not adding up. Something is just not um, lining up. Um, the first card that came out is the Seven of Cups. This is a card of a confusion, or this is a card of a multiple choice. Perhaps you, perhaps you have more than one person interested in you. Perhaps you are already in a relationship, and here comes a challenger with a new love offer. And uh, the, if this is the case, then the new person knows that you're not going to leave your existing uh, partner unless they you unless you know for sure that this is something solid this is something long term um, because we also have the ten of wands right there the ten of wands is a card of a burden and it's clarified by the two of cups the two of cups is one of the best cards when it comes to love right this is a soulmate love unconditional love this is when two people are on the same page and the feelings are mutual so together with the seven of cups like I said something is not right here um, if it's not a challenger if it's if you're not dealing with anybody new then it's still um, something interesting going on here it's possible that uh, you've been waiting for this person to propose to you or that you've been waiting for this person to ask you to make it official to move in together to take this relationship to the next level that's why we have the seven of cups the first card that came out this is you sort of confused you're thinking so when is it going to happen or is it going to happen but uh, in that case the good news is that it's happening right now <laughs> perhaps they have a surprise for you for this uh, new year uh, celebration night because uh, the next card over is the ace of pentacles it could be a proposal, it could be an offer to take this relationship to the next level, move in together, right? And uh, in that case, the Ten of Wands uh, is, uh, so even though it's a burden, it's been a burden for you, but I think finally you'll be dropping it. The burden will be becoming a thing of the past because it will be replaced with the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups, like I said, this is uh, two people getting on the same page and uh, the feelings are mutual here. The eight of wands on the bottom of the deck. This is a card of communication, um, back and forth, back and forth communication. This is one of the fastest cards on the, in the deck. Some people call it the Cupid's arrows card. So there's definitely a conversation or communication about love going on here. So um, you can always leave me. You can always let me know what's happening. Leave me a comment down below. Because, uh, yeah, I do see more than one storyline here. So I'm curious what's actually going on here. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past uh, for you, Aries, this week. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Ten of Pentacles clarified by Strength. And uh, we have the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Leo. Um, somebody is coming back from the past right here with all these cards and uh, they're thinking long term perhaps they realize they made a mistake by uh, breaking up with you or they want to start a new year with you <laughs> and actually continue throughout the year or throughout the years to come um, 
and I think you're dealing with somebody who is um, really smart. But let me start with the uh, Nine of Pentacles, the card on the bottom of the deck. I think that is you, Aries. And uh, you're shining like a star. You're shining really bright. This is a single person card, but most importantly, this is a card of somebody who is self-sufficient, independent. Perhaps you are admired by many. Perhaps you're popular. Um, perhaps you've got uh, everything you need right now and uh, you're not actually looking to start anything with anybody or you're not looking to start anything with this particular ex. But like I said, I think there's somebody who is smart because uh, the last card that came out is the Ten of Pentacles and it's cl uh, clarified by strength. Ten of Pentacles is a card of marriage or this is a card of a committed relationship and it's clarified by strength. It could be a Leo you're dealing with but the uh, sense I'm getting of uh, here is they're going to sort of use a very gentle approach on you because strength is all about taming the beast and I'm not saying you are the beast <laughs> Aries but uh, they do see you as somebody who is uh, um, they're, you're not gonna just uh, tell them oh yeah let's let's try this again no you because uh, like I said you are right there the nine of Pentacles you're shining so they will come up with some kind of a very smart and a clever approach but I don't think they're trying to um, just take advantage of you. Like I said, they do see the two of you uh, getting into a committed relationship where that's what they want. And uh, to lure you <laughs> into it, they'll have to come up with some uh, unique, smart and clever ways. Right? <laughs> we have the Six of Pentacles, the first card on the left. This first card that came out. This is a card of um, equal give and take. A very balanced out relationship. So I think this person, I don't know what happened between the two of you in the past, but uh, going into 2021, uh, this is them wanting to have a very um, equal type of a relationship with you. They see you as an equal partner. They do see or think of you as somebody who is very smart, intelligent, and I think you're treating you accordingly, right? But uh, they still have their clever ways about... Um, Learning, learning you into this relationship. We also have the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is a passionate uh, new beginning. And uh, then we have the Ten of Pentacles with Strength. Uh, so, I don't know what you're gonna do here, Aries, but um, I think this person really wants you. They, they do see you as somebody whom they want to marry, somebody whom they want to have a family with. Uh, they see stability, abundance, going forward together with you, Aries. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen this week, uh, Aries. We have the two of wands, we have the emperor, we have the three of cups, clarified by the queen of pentacles. You could be dealing with another Aries, or an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So what you're not expecting is uh, to run into this uh, queen of pentacles. This is either an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. Or uh, this person is very nurturing, they're down to earth, they could be good with their finances. And um, you could be running into this person at a party, or it could be a Zoom party, or basically um, you could be meeting this person on the street at a grocery store, it doesn't really matter. And it's uh, the, the Queen of Pentacles is clarifying the Three of Cups. So it could be, like I said, a party or an event or a gathering or this is a card of uh, you sort of uh, reuniting and celebrating your reunification. The Emperor right there in the middle, that is uh, you Aries, that is your personal card, right? The Three of Cups every once in a while comes through as a third party situation, but I don't really see anything um, that would suggest um, there could be a third party situation. There's nothing else here. <laughs> that would suggest that. So most likely what you're not expecting is to reunite with this um, earth sign, the Queen of Pentacles. Alright, so that's what I got for you Aries. Hopefully it resonates and uh, other than that have a great week and a happy new year. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.